In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage contacts inside of Smartsheet. Now, it's important to note that there are users and there are contacts inside of this application. Users are people that have permissions, they have roles, um, they are actually added into your projects and workspaces and sheets and can do different things with those uh, projects. Your contacts are private to you, and these are contacts that you can add in. They're people that you can assign tasks to, and they do have some functionality inside of Smartsheets, but they are not defined users inside of the application, and no, no one else will see them except for you unless you share a sheet that has them added into one of the columns. So we'll take a look at what all of that means. So if you go down to the bottom left-hand corner and you click on the Accounts icon, you will see that we have User Management, and we have my Smartsheet contacts. So user management is where you will manage your users and my Smartsheet contacts is where you will manage your private contacts inside of Smartsheet. So we'll go ahead and click on my Smartsheet contacts. And when we do, it's going to open up the my Smartsheet contacts dialog box. Here you can see we can add new contacts, we can import contacts, and we can export contacts. The contacts will populate in this box right here, and we can also filter the list of our contacts by name and email address and so forth once they start populating. In the bottom left-hand corner is a privacy policy, and you can close this dialog box out. So let's go ahead and add a new contact by clicking the Add button. And here we just want to give the contact a name and email address. Once we're done, we can go ahead and hit the OK button. And you will see that it's populated the name and email address in this dialog box. To the left of the name is a little drop down menu icon. If we click on that, we can edit the contact or delete the contact. If you edit the contact, it will just bring you back to the screen where you can make changes to the name or email address. We'll go ahead and hit the cancel button. To the right of the add button is the import contacts button. So if we click on that arrow, you can see that we can import contacts through Gmail, a CSV file, or a VCF file. Now keep in mind you'll have to authorize Gmail to import contacts, but that makes it really convenient to import all of your Gmail contacts straight into Smartsheet. To the right of that is export contacts, so if we click on that button, you can see we can export out our contact list as a CSV file. Once you're done adding in your contacts, you can go ahead and hit the close button. Now, these contacts aren't necessarily users inside of your sheets, but they are being stored so that you can share files with them and you can add them to tasks. So let's take a look at how we, we would do that. So if you are in the browse menu, you can go up to the create button in the top right hand corner. And let's go ahead and create just a simple grid. It's going to ask us to name the sheet. So we'll just call this managing contacts and then hit the OK button. Then once it's created, we can just go and click on the name and it will open up that grid for us. Now this is a typical sheet inside a smart sheet. You can see we have our primary column and our other columns here already ready for us to go. So generally the primary column is going to be something like a task. So let's say we had a task here and let's say that we want to assign this task to one of our contacts. So if you go to the column and you click on the three dot menu, it will bring up all the options for this column. Go down to edit column properties at the bottom and click on it. And it's going to ask us for a name. So let's go ahead and name this. And it's going to ask us for a column type. So if we click on that menu, we can turn this into a contact list column type. When we do, it's going to ask for some additional information. Do we want to allow multiple contacts per cell? We don't. We'll leave that off. Do we want to restrict to list values only? We don't. We'll leave that off. And you can go ahead and add contacts directly in here if you needed to. But we'll just go ahead and hit the OK button. And you'll see that it's changed the name to the name that we gave it. And if you click on one of the cells, it has a drop down menu icon here. Now, when we click on that, we can add anyone that's previously been added into a sheet other than yourself. So we have the options to choose that person here. If we click on it, we can assign them. It's going to say, because you assigned a row in the sheet, you can now notify team members when a row gets assigned to them. We don't need to notify anyone at this moment, so we'll hit not right now. 
And you can see that this contact list column allows us to specify anyone that we want to assign tasks to. Now, if we click on that button again, you can see that the contact we've added is not here and we want to add that person in. So go ahead and click on the contact list icon in the bottom left hand corner. It says select one. We'll click on that. And then here you can see all of your contacts. So we'll go ahead and choose the contact that we want and then hit OK. Now that person has been assigned to this column. If we want to go ahead and click on that button again, you will see that they are added in here. And anytime we want to assign someone, they will be here for us to choose because we've chosen them before. Let's go ahead and click on that cell, that drop down button again, and then go down into the contact list icon. And here we have the similar dialog box that we had before when we were setting up our contact list. Here we can filter our contact list. We can also click on this and we can look at all contacts, your Smartsheet contacts, and team users. So this is going to show you everyone, including users, and we can just sort these by contacts or users. So if we hit contacts, it'll show us the contacts. If we go team users, Susan's not there because she's not defined as a user. She's just one of my contacts. So go ahead and hit all contacts. In the bottom right hand corner, we can add new. So if we click on that, we can add someone else in. And then we can hit OK. Now that person has been assigned. If we select them and hit OK, it changes it to them. We can see that Bob is here because he's been assigned to a cell before. So if we go to the bottom one and we click on the menu and then the contact list and we choose Susan and hit OK. Now you can see that we have the options of Jeremy, Bob, or Susan because they've been defined in a column previously before. Finally, if you wanted to add someone right here, you could click on this drop down menu and hit add new. And then you could add in another person. And hit OK. And now it went ahead and added them in. So you can see everyone who's been added here. So that is how you can use contacts inside of Smartsheet. If you need to edit any of these contacts in the future, you can go back down to your account settings and then go to my Smartsheet contacts. And you will have all of your contacts here where you can edit them or delete them out. And that is how you manage contacts inside of Smartsheet.